Look who's ready for school before me. <laughs> Everybody's in here just waiting and waiting on mummy. And of course, playing. These girls got dressed up so fancy today. Do you guys wanna stand up and show me your beautiful outfits? <laughs> Okay. They got up this morning and just got all fancy in dresses, tights and shirt, boots. But, and I don't have any other sweaters. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, you girls look beautiful. Be like and then there's Wesley, who is still in pajamas. <laughs> With me being a little slow this morning, I didn't even get you dressed yet, but... Uh, I did ask Elijah to pick out, just a second, to pick out an outfit for Wesley. So he picked out this shirt and these jeans. Match. And look at Elijah. <laughs> Gray shirt and jeans. And then so the these kind of feel. Yeah, like the waffly kind of shirt. So yeah. big boy and little boy are going to be matching today. <laughs> and I spy over there my coffee. Elijah, I asked you to come. Oh, okay. I asked Elijah to get my coffee and have it all ready for me. <laughs> and he got it all ready. Were you going to drink coffee during our morning basket time or what? Usually it's me who ends up uh, waiting for the kids so that we can start school. But all the kids were coming and finding me this morning like, we're ready. It's 9 o'clock. We're all ready for school. What are you doing? Why aren't you, why aren't you ready for school yet? I don't know, I just had a bunch of extra stuff to do. I needed to get um, some sourdough, uh, starter fed. I was going to say something else I was busy doing. I don't know. I don't know. I was just pokey this morning, I guess. No! I love the tower. I that is very so this, nice. That's where, like, these two animals live up here. And it's like, there's Charity a has, always has a story for her towers. Yeah, and then there's <laughs> And Simeon has the like, crab. Where is yeah, yeah. Wesley? <laughs> Scientists believed that the moon was a smooth sphere, but Galileo discovered that the moon had mountains, pits, and other features just like Earth. Galileo pointed his telescope by Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Something I've recently just started doing every day, I learned this. A uh, little trick from my friend Julie Crikey, who I did a collab with recently. I write down what each of the kids has to do for school every day. My camera's very shaky because this guy's holding on to my arm currently. Um, so I just write down each of their subjects and they can also see what they have to do. And so basically what I write down is just gather around. They each have to do some math. Wesley, you sure make this shaky, shaky. <laughs> gather around, math. What am I missing? <laughs> they have reading. Piano. We also have, yes, thank you, Simeon. We have piano. And then today we're also going to do some theory. So I write down something similar for each of the kids. And then they just come and cross it out. They don't cross it out. They erase it as soon as they are done that subject. Zara is learning how to write. <laughs> It's the best K. Okay, today. Which one's the best one? Oh my goodness. I don't even know. Probably that one. What does the K say, sweetie? <laughs> Four. <laughs> What's this? That's a koala. And koala. That's right. And kite. And kick. Yes, and kick. Uh, oh, so that's a good idea, turning the cup around to get a little bit of a different size. So, um... We are learning how to draw circles today. Elijah and Charity just went off to find a paper uh, because they are going to be drawing a sphere. Oh, that's going to be a really big sphere. Those are your circles. Those are very, very nice. Okay, you have a little bit more space. Why don't you find something else that you can draw? Maybe a couple of smaller, smaller circles. Are you feeling just a little bit lonely because nobody's playing with you? Is that what's wrong? He's just kind of whining like he wants somebody to come and play with him. What should we do? Do you want to go get mommy a book so I can read to you? Oh, very nice. I love those circles. Are you going to go find mommy a book? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You go get a book. I can take a little break and read to my little guy. Three birthday presents. How many gloves are there? Um, mine do you all well like that. <laughs> are you counting? Good job. If ever um, I tell him, do you want me to read you a story? He runs, runs off to pick a book. 
That's not you. That's just a rain hat. <laughs> Let's count all the leaves. You want to count with mommy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Good counting. Nine, ten. You found some extra ones. Zara's just finishing up her math. Tell me again what this number is. Three hundred and six. Good job. Three hundred and six. Wesley, <laughs> he's just over here having fun. If you guys saw him playing with this box earlier, the kids have been having fun with this box. I ordered three laundry baskets a couple days ago. We were in much need of new laundry baskets. So Walmart sent this humongous box. The laundry baskets took up like just over half of it. Simeon's over here practicing the piano. And I just told him you're done this song, but he just loves it, so he's still playing it. Um, Charity is over here doing her math. Elijah's doing his math. Throw me the ball. <gasps> here it comes. Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> did you see him have his hands ready? <gasps> yeah, I didn't quite throw it into his hands. Are you gonna get your hands out again? Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna throw it. Oh. <laughs> So close. You want to try again? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Did that hit you in the face? <laughs> Look at these handsome matching boys. Oh, careful. You matching boys are just so handsome. Gray shirts, blue jeans, and even the brown slippers. Yeah. Wesley, are you matching Elijah? He's just saying he's not wearing a hat. I know. Elijah even went around and looked for his hat. I don't remember where we last put it, but other than the hat, you guys are matchy-matchy. Hey, come on! This is one of my recent Amazon purchases. Maybe don't look too, too close. They're not perfectly done, but I got a gel nails starter kit that I tried out the other day. So this kit came with the UV light um, thing that you put your hand in. It came with 12 uh, gel polishes. It came with um, a base coat, a top coat, nail file, everything you need. I thought that this color was perfect for um, Valentine's Day, but I'm looking forward to trying out some of the other colors too. If you guys are interested in getting a kit like this, I will link uh, the one I got down below. I have been wanting to get one for a long time and been delaying and delaying because I couldn't decide if I wanted a gel nail kit or like a dip nails kit. And then my sister bought one and she loved it and told me about it and I said, okay, but I'm not even researching anymore. I just went ahead and bought the exact same one that she had bought. Well, we just finished doing a reading lesson. Do you want to show everybody your reading book? We actually have not done a reading lesson um, since before Christmas, probably since November. We took a bit of a break because Zara was having a little bit of a time, a hard time sounding out her words, right? Yeah. But I always write reading down for us to do every day and then it's just me reading to her but today you really wanted to do a reading lesson didn't you i said okay i'm gonna read you a book and she said no i want to read can i please get out um my learn to read book and she did really well she sounded out some words do you remember what words you sounded out what words did you say today mm -hmm. what words though you said seat seat and eat eat yeah you and did sat what do you get across off? Are you going to read there me a go. reading book? No, I, you read to me today, and I read to you already this morning, right? Because right now it's time to go for quiet time. Are you, are you going? <laughs> she never gets tired of me reading to her. Everyone's going to go for a little quiet time and reading time, and then the piano and theory will have to happen a little bit later. But right now it's time for you to go for quiet time. I just got myself a snack. So this is some blueberries, pineapple, and cottage cheese. My kids aren't a big fan of this snack. Oh, and there's a stem. But that is going to be my afternoon snack. Yum. You love it? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you do? Okay, you guys, you guys just trick me all the time. I think you don't like something. When I think about popsicles, when I eat this, it tastes good. 
if you think about popsicles. Because it kind of tastes like a popsicle. It's a, uh, is it mango? <laughs> it kind of tastes like a popsicle. It does, eh? It's like a yellow popsicle. Oh, it sounds good. So these kids are just having yogurt and then some of these peanut butter pretzels. Thank you for getting snack already, Elijah. I'm actually going to wait for snack to just cool down a little bit uh, before I eat it. My teeth on one side are so sensitive to cold. I got fillings done just before Christmas and ever since then this side of my mouth has been so sensitive to anything cold. The weirdest part was that when I had the cavities before I got them filled they weren't sensitive at all so it's really annoying to me actually that they're so sensitive right now. I love like ice cold water but I've been pouring my water just kind of cool so that I can drink it and it not bother me and anytime yeah super annoying. Anyways, I'm also kind of getting um, supper ready. I just chopped up a bunch of broccoli. I'm sure this will be plenty. It'll be enough for more than one meal, but I have broccoli. I have just some frozen chicken breasts that are not so frozen anymore. Three chicken breasts. And then I also, I'm just going to peel and chop up some uh, sweet potatoes here. And then all I do is add some coconut oil. I add garlic powder and salt and pepper. I think that is all that I add. I'm trying to remember right now. And then I just mix it and put it in the oven for a good hour. And it is so tasty. I don't think all the kids are big fans of it, um, but it is one of my favorites. Quick table cleanup before supper. Um, this table is our dinner table. It's our school table. It's our craft table. It is used a ton, but it's dinner time now. So we're doing a quick tidy up. There's no, there's there's not soap in your mouth, Zara. And here's dinner, all ready. It smells very garlicky, so if you don't like garlic, you probably wouldn't enjoy this meal, but that's gonna be so yummy. Pardon me? Yeah, I think we probably can. Simeon wants to do a story starter. So in our in our read aloud book today, they did the um, like story circle where each person takes a turn adding to the story. And so Simeon's been asking me to please do one with him. Maybe we will all do it um, at dinner. Okay, so finish cleaning up. Let's go, let's go. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Zara, did you get your mouth cleaned out? Did you get it all cleaned? <laughs> okay, you wanna say bye too? Bye. Okay, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> bye. Bye.